I want to use the previous example to show you how you would compute some of these things on the calculator. So using the, the first example here where we had Miss Adams choosing a president, a vice president, and a secretary, we saw that that answer was 5 times 4 times 3. Now that can be done in our head, but there are certain problems where it won't always be quite so simple to do it in your head, so using the calculator would become necessary. Um, this idea of sort of, I view this very much as like a truncated factorial. So like 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So this is like kind of like a truncated factorial, meaning we like stop it right there before the 2 and the 1. Um, that has a, a certain uh, expression for it, and it's called... 5p3. So whenever you're doing five, you know, whenever you're you're sort of truncating a factorial uh, after a certain number of spots, it's called a p. And the the reason it's called a p is because these problems are often denoted as permutations, which again is a phrase I don't love to use so much, um, but um, just while we're here, let me just give you another example. So if you had to do like 6p2, that just means 6 times 5. So it's like start the factorial but stop after two spots. So on the calculator, to compute that, we'll just do both of them. The first thing you have to do is actually hit the first number. So if we're going to do 5p3, hit a 5, then go to math, go over to prb, and go down to that number 2, which is npr. The NPR will show up and then just hit 3, and you get your answer of 60. Okay? Um, so there's there's permutations, <clears throat> or what are called permutations. The second example we noted was where Mrs. Adams was choosing three students, and they were just a, a committee of three people. None of them had special uh, assignments or anything like that. So that we saw was... 5 choose 3, which ended up being 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial, which, like I said before, has can often be written like this, or like this. So in the calculator, to compute it, we'd hit the 5C, we'd, we'd use the, the combination button. So go back to the calculator, hit 5, go to math, over to PRB, and down to 3, where it says NCR, then hit your 3, and you get your answer of 10. Okay. Um, so that's just how you can use your calculator. And, and again, some problems, you, will, you know, will be small enough the numbers will be small enough where you can kind of do things out by hand, meaning you could you could simplify this by hand probably without too much problem. Um, right, because 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So this would cancel with this, but the top would just have a 5 times a 4 left, right? Because the 3, 2, 1 would cancel with the denominator. So now you essentially have a 20 on the top divided by a 2, which gives you your 10. But some, sometimes the computations are just a little bit uh, out of control, so we use the calculator.